Hi there everyone, Tom here from One Side Solutions. In this video I'm going to show you what you can do if you come across a Niagara Falls station that you need to do some work on, however you don't know the passphrase. So for those that don't know, since Niagara Falls was released, every station you create using a Niagara Falls installation, such as that on your laptop, has the secure information inside of it encrypted with the system passphrase. Now the system passphrase is set upon the installation of, your Ni of Niagara Falls. Um, it can be changed at a later date, but that's by the by. And when I say sensitive information within a station, I'm referring to any username and passwords that are used to connect to downstream devices, for example. So a good example would be you've got a, you've say inherited a supervisor station from a, from a large site. In that supervisor station was connections to say a hundred devices in the, um, in the Niagara network. So there could be a hundred JS8000s. Um, in each of those connections in the Niagara network, you have a username and password that's been entered when the station has been built. The system passphrase is used to protect those username and passwords. Um, so in the event that someone lays their hands on your um, supervisor station, maybe maliciously, it doesn't all of a sudden give them the credentials to a hundred other devices throughout your building. It doesn't encrypt the station username and password that's actually needed to get onto the station um, this bog's station itself. However, um, it does encrypt all of the sensitive information within it, like, like I say, for device connections. So anyway, in front of me here, you should see uh, my Niagara 4.7 workbench or workplace open. Now I have myself here a station called passphrase test and the config.bog file is for it there. This is known as opening a station offline. It's not running or anything. You need to make sure that before you attempt this. So I'm going to double click on my config.bog and you'll see what you'll usually see in a station, the uh, services, drivers and apps, trees. But if you look above, you should see the bog file protection button, which is like a page with a padlock. If you click that, you should see this. Um, what you see on the screen and the options available to you does differ um, based on specific um, specific scenarios. But this is what you should see if you've just taken a station from somewhere and you absolutely don't know the system passphrase or it doesn't match the system passphrase of your machine that you're trying to do this on. Um, for example, if my system passphrase happened to match the system's passphrase that made this station, we'd see some different options such as change the files passphrase. Um, but in this case, it's it's very much like we've gone to site, we've taken a station, and we've gone. Oh, I don't know the don't know the passphrase. My system passphrase isn't the same. What can I do? So what can you do? Well, you've only really got one option, and that's to completely remove the passphrase or force it to use a different passphrase. Both of those are going to have the same uh, potentially detrimental or time-consuming effect, being that any sensitive information in the station, such as your username and passwords for the connection to those 100 JSs that might be in your Niagara network, are then going to be um, invalidated. The, uh, the Your Niagara system either won't be able to read them, or if you click the bottom button, they will just be blanked and you'll have to enter them again anyway. Either way, you're going to have to enter them again. Um, so this option here, force the file to start using a different passphrase that you specify. Any password values that are encoded with the current passphrase will be cleared. It's self-explanatory. And force any password values that depend on the current file protection to be cleared. They're both going to have a very similar effect. You, it, it will allow you to run the station, get it back up and running, but you're going to have to go through the station, particularly through the Niagara network or any other driver networks that you have, and re-enter any, any usernames and passwords that um, have now become cleared or invalid due to needing to change the passphrase. So let's say use um, force, force the file to start using a different passphrase. Click that, and in the passphrase box here, we can enter a new passphrase. And 
and that's it, job done. You now see that the options that have become available to us have changed because the system now knows what the pass rate for this bog file is because it's what I just entered. So therefore, I can now use the change the files pass phrase button and that would just be like changing a password with no detrimental effects. Anyway, guys, I hope that's uh, been helpful to you. It's uh, always unfortunate when you come across a station that you haven't been given the passphrase to, but in our ever more secure world and environment we work in, we do need to enforce good practice and just try and stay on top of how we're storing passwords and passphrases. Um, personally, I use a, a key database, password database, with a secure master password and a key file, so there's two factors of authentication there. And um, it just means you have to remember one password and then have the key file as well. Um, I mean, if, if you're a company working on many sites with many jobs, no doubt your list of username and passwords is extensive. So I, I, I definitely suggest looking into a password database or a password safe, something along those lines. Anyway, that's it for me. If you like these, like and subscribe comment if you uh, want to know a bit more or uh, to let us let us um, have some feedback and I uh, hope to see you next time thank you